while ago, Nathan Oakley, Martin Leedke, and several other people made a visit to the Mappa Mundi in Hereford Cathedral. During that time when they were visiting the Mappa Mundi in Hereford Cathedral, they pointed out on this medieval map a location on the map that showed the city of Enoch. Here is a clip from that visit they made. So that's China there. We got Babylon, the Tower of Babel there. And at the top, it actually says the city of Enoch. Yeah? The city of Enoch at the top. And you come down, Tower of Babel. Based on the orientation of the map, the city of Enoch, uh, it, where it's shown on the map, would correspond to a location in the southern Indian Ocean. The book of Jasher contains an account in chapter 3 of what happened when Enoch ascended into heaven. This also gives us another clue about the location of the land of Enoch. Book of Jasher, chapter 3, verses 27 through 35. And at that time the sons of men were with Enoch, and Enoch was speaking to them. And they lifted up their eyes, and the likeness of a great horse descended from heaven, and the horse paced in the air. And they told Enoch what they had seen, and Enoch said to them, On my account does this horse descend upon earth. The time has come when I must go from you, and I shall no more be seen by you. And the horse descended at that time, and stood before Enoch, and all the sons of men that were with Enoch saw him. And Enoch then again ordered a voice to be proclaimed, saying, Where is the man who delighteth to know the ways of the Lord his God? Let him come this day to Enoch before he is taken from us. And all the sons of men assembled and came to Enoch that day. And all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors remained with him that day. And Enoch taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instruction. And he bade them serve the Lord and walk in his ways all the days of their lives. And he continued to make peace amongst them. And it was after this he rose up and rode upon the horse. And he went forth, and all the sons of men went after him, about eight hundred thousand men. And they went with him one day's journey. And the second day he said to them, Return home to your tents. Why will you go? Perhaps you may die. And some of them went from him, and those that remained went with him six days' journey. And Enoch said to them every day, Return to your tents, lest you may die. But they were not willing to return, and they went with him. And on the sixth day some of the men remained and clung to him. And they said to him, We will go with thee to the place where thou goest, as the Lord liveth. Death only shall separate us. And they urged so much to go with him, that he ceased speaking to them. And they went after him and would not return. And continuing in verse 36, And when the kings returned, they caused a census to be taken, in order to know the number of remaining men that went with Enoch. And it was upon the seventh day that Enoch ascended into heaven in a whirlwind, with horses and chariots of fire. And on the eighth day all the kings that had been with Enoch sent to bring back the number of men that were with Enoch, in that place from which he ascended into heaven. And all those kings went to the place, and they found the earth there filled with snow, and upon the snow were large stones of snow. And one said to the other, Come, let us break through the snow, and see, perhaps the men that remained with Enoch are dead, and are now under the stones of snow. And they searched, but could not find him, for he had ascended into heaven. The description in the book of Jasher as a land of snow and stones of snow gives us a clue about the location of the land of Enoch. It would need to be in the South Indian Ocean and near the Antarctic. In the South Indian Ocean, I found a group of islands known as the Kerguelen Islands, which consists of the French Southern and Antarctic lands and two much smaller islands called Heard and MacDonald Islands. Uh, and they're north of Davis Station and southwest of Australia. The interesting thing about these islands is that they're apparently the remainder of a, a submerged subcontinent known as the Kerguelen subcontinent. If we look on a topographic view of these islands, you can see how the 
submerged subcontinent appears as an underwater feature in on the map so you can get an idea of the shape of this Kerguelen subcontinent. If we look at a topographic view of this submerged subcontinent with respect to Antarctica, it is easy to see that how it could actually be connected to Antarctica, or if not directly connected, it would be very easy for there to be an ice bridge to Antarctica that they could have taken a horse and people could have walked over. Could the now submerged Kerguelen subcontinent actually be the ancient land of Enoch? Well, based on what we found on the Mapa Mundi and, and what was described in the Book of Jasher, it certainly is a good fit.